While Gordon was banned from the Express, James and Henry took turns in his place. James was far more boastful about it until Gordon helped him over the hill one day. Henry, however, was a different story. He didn't boast as frequently. Gordon observed his substitutes with much interest. You see, Gordon always saw himself as the king of the Northwestern Railway, as an untouchable elite, the express engine. As such, when he got the express taken away from him, and watched James and Henry receive as much if not more praise than him in his place, it was a sobering moment for the big engine. To stay relevant, Gordon tried to act wise and give tips and suggestions on how to pull the express. It was not in his wheelhouse, however. While James accepted his advice, Henry wholeheartedly rejected it. I know how to pull the express. I'm not an idiot, he snapped one morning. Oh, I never said you were an idiot. I'm just offering my wisdom and experience as a tool to help you. And why would you want to do that? So my service isn't ruined in my absence. Typical, always a selfish reasoning. Henry fumed as he stormed off, feeling both suspicious and insulted. Gordon couldn't understand it. He was only trying to help Henry take the express. He told Winston all about his issues. I don't know why Henry doesn't want my advice. It's in his best interest. I am the express engine after all. I was the pride of the line. I know how to handle the train. Well, how are you going about it? I'll just say small things, like if you slow down your speed sooner, the ride into stations will be much smoother than how roughly you pulled in. See, there's your problem. What? How? You're talking down to him. You're not treating him as an equal, a fellow express engine. Well, he's not. He's just a mixed traffic engine. He deals with trucks more than he deals with passengers. And what are you doing right now? Whoa, well, whoa, well, this is different. These aren't normal times. Right. The point is, Henry should be taking my advice. Well, maybe if you stop talking down to him, he'd be more inclined to listen. Gordon said no more as he chuffed away with his goods train. He had a lot to think about. The fat controller was anxious. There was a train of Sodor wagons that had ended up off the island over the years. The other railway was supposed to have brought them in a giant goods train onto the island, but they had had a locomotive crisis and couldn't bring it the rest of the way. What are we going to do, sir? The train is over 50 trucks long. This is our job for the big engines. Send Gordon and Henry to take it. They'll make a light work of it, I'm sure. Henry was very cross to see Gordon packing down on him. Oh great, it's you. Come to tell me how to do this job too, have you? Look, we just have to bring this train back to the harbor. Let's not get into anything on our way, okay? Yeah, whatever. The train soon was underway and rumbled through the terminus station. They soon passed over the bridge onto Sodor. It was heavy work and the two big engines had to chop hard. As they were approaching the workstation, Henry spoke up. I don't know where you get off trying to tell me what to do. I just want to make sure the pride of the line is in good hands. Yeah, well you couldn't be less of an ass about it. I don't know how I'm being an ass. You're talking down to me like I'm a child. I might not be the top link express engine, but I like to think I do good enough. <sighs> yes you do, Henry. I'm sorry that I've been acting kind of like a dick about the express. It's just... 
It's just since I lost it, I, I feel pointless. Like I'm just any other engine now. The Express makes anyone who pulls it feel important. Yes, but it was my job. And I blew it. I, I just want to know that my life's work is in safe buffers. But I should have known it already-ish. What are you getting on about? You are an Express engine, Henry. A first-rate one of that. Henry was in shock at that, and he had nothing to say for the rest of the run. When the big train arrived at the harbor, the shunters pounced on it as Gordon and Henry went off to the coaling station. That was a tough train. Nothing two express engines can't handle, though. Shay, Henry, can we sweep all this under the ballast? The two big engines must stand united after all. Sure, Gordon. Who else is going to keep the little engines in line? The two big engines laughed. Nowadays, Gordon and Henry are almost inseparable. Whenever something happens, the two constantly confide in each other. It isn't uncommon to see them on their own talking to each other. I can't understand it. I honestly thought they hated each other. I wondered what happened. But we know what happened, don't we?